Hey everyone, welcome to your November readings. This is Lauren with the Clarity Cure. How are you guys? I know it's kind of been a while. I missed October tarot scope readings. I do apologize so much. I'm not going anywhere. I'm still here. I just was working on a couple of creative projects with my daughter and time just got away from me. So I apologize profusely. Um, this channel is for you guys. So I've been playing around this last year. I don't know if you've noticed, but trying different readings. Um, who's my future partner? OG, which I'm going to do this month for November, but general and love readings. Let me know below in the comments um, what you prefer, what you would really like to see on this channel as far as what type of readings. I've also, you know, every once in a while we'll do a pick a card reading as well. Those are always kind of fun. So I'm still here. I didn't leave you. I am available for private readings. I'm running a Halloween special. I'll put that information in the eye in the sky, whatever side that's on is a little eye icon. And I'll also put it in the description box below if somebody is uh, so inclined to book a reading with me. Um, and what else is going on? Oh, free numerology reports that outline your life path. Um, this is something I rolled out about six months ago. So that's available still for you guys as well. The link is below. Please subscribe to my channel. If you're new today, I would love for you to be a part of my community here on YouTube. I've mentioned it throughout some of the different readings, but maybe not for every sign, that that's how we connect. Energetically, you become a subscriber, and then you're more than likely to get a reading that resonates for you, or it could be specifically for you. I've done a lot of readings where it felt like, wow, this is a personal reading for somebody that really, really needs to hear it. So just sharing with you, would love to connect with you. I'm not going anywhere. I'm still around. If you guys kind of want to follow my story, uh, I am rolling out a whole new program in December. I'm really, really excited about it. I'll share probably next month what it's all about, but you can catch some glimps glimpses uh, of what's to come if you follow me on Instagram. Every once in a while, I'll do a little sneak peek. So would love to see you over there at The Clarity Cure. That's my uh, account name over on Instagram. God bless you guys. I want to wish you a wonderful holiday season. I can't believe this year is over already, but um, the time has come and we're moving into a brand new decade and I'm really excited about that. And you'll notice in a lot of the readings, there's a lot of endings and new beginnings. Um, so let's clean up what we need to and move forward into 2020 and be happy, healthy, and successful. Thank you very much, and we'll see you in the next round. Okay, bye-bye. Hey, Scorpio, let's dive right into your reading. Happy birthday, by the way. I don't want to forget to uh, say that to you guys. Um, all the best wishes to you. So let's dive in. You received Yang from Colette Baron reads Wisdom of the Oracle, this very masculine energy. This is about taking action. Yes, balance is required. Um, always, but there's something you need to do here. I see communication coming in. I see legacy. I see completion. Wow. I cannot begin to tell you how many people I've seen with the world card and a lot of major arcana. One, two, three. You have three. Um, but what's interesting, there's a lot of karmic returns. I think you know, when you look at this Mercury retrograde that we're in right now, it's the last one of 2019. There's something really super significant about how we're ending this decade. It's the last Mercury retrograde actually in Scorpio for the decade. It's very poignant. And I'm seeing this transformation and this completion and these reaching these goals and milestones for a lot of different readings. So make sure you check out your moon or rising sign. Um, you did receive opposition, which does speak about balance. Okay. This is from my numinous Astro Tarot deck, which I love. Just re got this deck like last month, a couple months ago. So Maybe it's time to face the music here. We're going to see. We're going to see what's going on. Let's do first things first. So who's my future partner? What are they like? You received the King of Swords. So definitely this is an Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra energy. Um, could be one of those sun signs or their rising or moon. Or it could be their career. They could be 
a lawyer, a financial advisor, um, could be in uh, law or um, in the judicial system. Sorry, I'm having a little issue here collecting my words. Um, And you see them as working very hard to get the eight of coins here. Your first impression of them is this is somebody that, wow, really um, is mastering their craft. Maybe this is a new job for this person. Maybe they're working long hours. They have a goal. They have a dream. And that seems to be their focus. They're putting in the effort to build something for their future, to create change. There's a dog barking. I apologize. Um, but this is somebody that is ranking as a king. So definitely there could even be some, you know, recognition in the workplace for the work that they're doing. Um, you're going to hear from this person. This person is coming in rather quickly. You have the eight and one. So it's your second eight. You have two eights here and eights are about power, authority, karma, um, control. See, there's there's some kind of conflict, though, that you're struggling with because your obstacle is the justice card. I don't mean to jump ahead, but um, again, balance. You need to find the balance here within this relationship to move forward. You're being asked to take action. There's legacy. There's family. There's commitment. There's a happy surprise coming in. Communication that you're not even expecting, Scorpio. This is about creating memories, taking action. Maybe you need to be the first one to reach out. Maybe for some of you, this is somebody you've been in relationship with in the past. Um, there's some kind of karmic connection here where things are being made right, or they need to be. There needs to be a confrontation here, which... Mm-hmm which seems to be difficult. Now, um, you know, whenever I see the King of Swords and I see the Justice card together, I'm thinking legal issues, legal matters. This could be um, an attorney. I know I probably mentioned that. There's some legal conflict here, but it's gonna work out in your favor. There's hope and inspiration here in the future with the Star card. Moving into December, uh, overcoming negativity, there's hope, there's optimism for the future. This, this communication coming in is going to make you very feel very secure in your future, like total fulfillment, financial security, legacy, family, comfort and accomplishments, right? Improved gains, wealth, and material abundance. Mm -hmm. Commitment in a relationship. Being in it for the long haul, you got the Four of Wands right underneath. This is a cause for celebration. What kind of relationship will this be? Maybe you you decide to move in together um, or get married, have a party. Uh, it's an unexpected surprise. So this is relishing in trials overcome because you're taking some time out to celebrate where you are in your life and you're making the most of the situation. So I feel it's really super positive. I do need to look at this opposition card where balance is necessary. I don't think it's anything super negative other than maybe you taking action. Maybe you need to reach out first and that's why the communication comes in. But regardless, this Eight of Wands does indicate another unexpected occurrence here, a communication, or something comes to light. And now it's like, maybe you hear something through the grapevine, that's what they're saying. You hear something, um, and now you're ready to move full steam ahead. Something is, something is going to come to you, whether that's through a viable person, a third party, this actual person, and delays are now going to be over. You got this green light to move forward. Mm -hmm. And forgiving old mistakes. And I think maybe that's what this opposition, this confrontation needs to be about so you can clear the air and wipe the slate clean and move forward in this relationship. 
What's under the world? Four of Cups. Some nice stubborn energy here for you. There was an offer. Um, maybe you were disinterested. You, you're being unforgiving here. Maybe there was, you know, for those of you that maybe know this person or it's a relationship coming back, um, even if you dated briefly, there's commitment coming here. Cause to celebrate and getting over um, past wounds and completing this cycle. That's what I love about the world card. Okay, so as your overall energy, this is completing something of great importance where you're at the pinnacle. Like imagine you climb this mountain. You've been climbing this mountain of life, right? Climbing this mountain in relationships and you've reached the pinnacle. You've reached the top. Okay, so there's cause for celebration, triumph and acclaimment and attainment. Wow, especially with the Ten of Coins. I mean, this is quite positive. This is um, not only, you know, financial freedom, but legacy about, about your, your, the generations to come, children, pets, um, relatives. Okay, this is, this is huge. This is a Ten of Pentacles or Ten of Coins, same thing. Um, there's a commitment coming in here from this person, definitely without a doubt. They seem stubborn though. They seem a little, <laughs> whenever I see the King of Swords, I'm like, oh boy. Um, you know, you being a Scorpio, you know, you're so sensitive and your waters run deep and there could be some, you know, like just hardcore truth you know, difficulty here working with this person. Um, but, you know, I do see that there's a sense of, there's a sense of respect here with the Eight of Pentacles because this person is putting in the effort to create the change that they want. And they're improving their relationships, their finances, their career, their work, and this communication about it. Something comes to light where you can now move forward and fulfill your destiny and legacy and get a commitment here. There's a definitely a commitment. You've got so many happy surprises and celebration cards here. It's unbelievable. you got the Three of Cups under here. You have the Four of Wands. What else did I see? Celebratory. Um... Well, the Ten of Coins is something definitely uh, not to shake a stick at. So I think it's getting over any legal battle. Maybe there's a prenup. You know, maybe there's, it could be that simple, right? Um, there's a relationship growing, brewing. And the one thing that's holding it up is this justice card where maybe you don't feel like, or maybe this person is, Divorced or something like that. Um, it's going to be a little different for each one of you. Balance to right karmic justice is being made right here. So what are your intentions? Okay. Where are you coming from? Because you're being released on this brand new path in this relationship with this person. Okay. Maybe you've been divorced. And now it's time to complete the cycle and move forward in a new relationship. This is who's my future partner. Whether you knew the person before or not, this could be somebody new coming in, really willing to make a commitment and move rather quickly. And maybe that's the opposition. Okay, because opposition is also about manifestation because you're jumping in and you're dealing uh, with the situation at hand. This person is ready to, to definitely... Um, <laughs> surprise you quite nicely, I might add, with an offer or an opportunity here to be together. Part of this is letting go, too. So Four of Pentacles, not the Four of Pentacles, you got the Four of Wands. So this is um, prosperity, trials overcome, integration, unexpected surprise. It's really quite beautiful for you, Scorpio. So um, let's do some clarifying here and see what else is coming in. I want to get a little bit more insight on this 
justice card. You want to do what's right. You need to take action. You need to take action because something's coming in. There's communication coming in that's going to turn this situation around. Okay. So let's see here. Let's get a little bit more insight here. Star. Yeah, beautiful. Leading to a wish fulfillment. Success after struggle. Completion. The cycle. Wow. It's really quite beautiful. Okay, let me see what else comes in. Oh, fate and destiny is on your side here. Wow, Wheel of Fortune. The wheel is turning in your favor, King of Cups. Wow, this is you standing in all your glory here, Scorpio. Oh, love when the cards start repeating. Definitely this communication coming in that's going to change the fate of your future in love and commitment. Whoa, amazing. You're going to be sitting like the king over here. This could be same-sex marriage. I don't, I don't really read genders in general readings, but for some, I'm picking that up here for some of you, not everybody. Um, whoa, real twist of fate here. This is destiny. This is your time to move forward. Let's see, Knight of Swords. Yeah, that information's coming in quickly. This is overcoming problems and challenges and obstacles that have been in the way. This opposition, finding your way through the, the mud and the yuck and facing what you need to face and taking action through this communication. What's at the bottom? Oh, nice. Nine of Cups, everything that you wish for, Scorpio. I love this reading for you. And it's been a while since um, I've seen something so positive for you in relationships. There's always this or that. or This is like feels very karmic, like a lot of the signs I read. Uh, for so far November. There's lots of endings and crescendos into beautiful new beginnings and commitments. And it goes beyond, you know, who even is my future partner in a way that it's love. It's it's love for so many of the signs being able to, yeah, it's almost like moving into this new decade with a whole new clean slate and, you know, putting the last 10 years behind you and really feeling refreshed to move forward in a whole new way. The world, nine of cups, anything, make a wish. Now you have two wish cards. Hello. I mean, this is crazy beautiful. And the wheel of fortune. So fate and destiny is stepping into your life here, Scorpio, and communication is going to be coming in um, to enlighten you on a situation some of you, it's going to be maybe somebody you met recently. This could be somebody that's already in more of a longer type commitment and maybe you split up. There's been some legal issues and now you're getting back together. It's very possible. There's lots to consider with the family uh, and generations to come. I'm hearing some of you can get remarried as well, recommitted, you know, doing... um. Second ceremony of commitment. Reuniting in a much bigger way. There's lots of blue here. I'm loving the blue with the Nine of Cups, Eight of Wands, the Star card. Just beautiful. Beautiful energy for you, Scorpio. So you're going to be able to move forward. Just find the balance in, in any um, obstacle that you're dealing with right now. The biggest thing is just dealing with conflicts. Maybe this has been a big test for you as well um, to see where you really stand in this relationship and see what this person is really made of. All right. This is cutting away all the crap and getting to the heart of the matter. Um where you can embrace each other, you know, and move forward, thinking clearly, learning out, you know, finding the truth in a situation. 
so you can start anew and get rid of this opposition, this, this resistance here, so you can get your wish, baby. It's coming. All right, it's coming. All these messengers coming in as well. So pretty amazing, Scorpio. I really hope you enjoyed the reading. God bless you. Have a wonderful month in November. Again, happy birthday, and we'll see you in December. Okay, take care now. All right, bye-bye.